What's going on? I'm Chris Duke. Thanks for checking me out. If you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. I have a project going on right now with a 2002 Maxima. And then took it over, did a quick wash on it just to get a lot of the major uh, dirt off. But what I've discovered and I'm going to show you now is this car and I got to notice it after I washed it and took it back home and took a good look at it. I kind of knew already but I never really cleaned the car to kind of confirm my suspicions. This car has a lot of crud on it. I don't know if it's overspray. Now we did clean the engine bay and we did paint the engine bay. You can kind of see some of this polish on here because I was working on getting some of that stuff off of so what I noticed was, and we covered all this up when we painted the engine bay, we covered a lot of it anyway. There was just like a rough texture to everything, pretty much in the entire car. And obviously we may have gotten some overspray when we did the engine bay, but we didn't get the whole car. All of this is just rough. So what I did try to do or start to do um, a couple days ago was the windshield had it pretty bad. I got a lot of it off with just using a polisher and some ultimate compound. But what I'm going to try today is use a clay bar and try to get over the rest of the car. The compound worked. It took a while. I don't want to uh, use anything that's too abrasive either. Even though the paint in this car is not the best, uh, for the time being I'll get it as good as I can get it until at some point consider if I'm going to paint it and then go from there. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to try out this clay bar. So I've got the mother's clay bar set over here. Brand new. I've had it for a while. I haven't used it yet. I've used clay bar before, just not this one. So I'm going to try and see if this gets all this crap off. Back here on the, on the rear spoiler, you can see whoever had this car just spray bombed the spoiler for whatever reason. I, I don't understand why someone would do that, but... You know, even if the paint is fading, I think the fading paint looks better than that does. But, hey, all this is just rough from neglect. But it's the entire car, even back here, everything. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it. somebody would have done this intentionally it doesn't make sense to me. Now that we're getting some of that crap off and you can see paint, it's not the best in the world but it's not bad. I mean it's definitely um, better than trying to paint over it. But I have to think that it wasn't intentional. It's just probably carelessness and um, it's gonna take a little elbow grease but we'll we'll bring this paint to the best condition we can bring it to and um, see what it looks like. Like I was saying earlier, we did the windshield a couple days ago, kind of went over. I used on that, I don't know, pretty much whatever, because it was just glass. I mean, 
obviously you can scratch it, but I was just using a mild like scouring pad and I don't know, just a good paint or something like that, and then I used a black cleaner. But um, I'm gonna try to clay bar on the other ones as well because this stuff, whatever it is, film is on everything. Alright guys, as we get through this process, we're revealing other hidden secrets. So, just as an example, I did half the, half the roof. I don't know how much it comes out on camera, but you can feel this is really smooth and over here it's like sandpaper almost. But, <clears throat> what I was talking about was, you can see right here for example there. See someone was sanding out some little spots. And, I mean, I'm not a body man, but I don't see what the advantage of leaving it like that was. But there are quite a number of these. I've seen a couple on the door as well. Once we get through this clay bar, probably wash it again and hit it with some wax and see what that does. Might be able to minimize or get that stuff out. If you guys have any tips to do, uh, do better with some of this stuff up here, some of these marks. There are a couple on the doors as well. Here's one here. If you got any ideas as to what we could do to address that, let me know. But overall, the car already looks a thousand times better and this is just the beginning, so we'll keep going. spoiler again and you can see that it's just picking up all this stupid spray paint that somebody put all over it. I'm gonna see how much I can get of it off. So I think they were just trying to cover up some sun fading over here and now I have I think a mix of getting through to the sun fading and then some of the spray paint that just hasn't come off. It's not pretty. We got a decent, well cheap but decent spray gun from Harbor Freight that we used to paint the engine bay. So maybe we'll just tape off everything back here and just hit the spoiler. Some of that black paint we've got or we'll buy some black gloss right, so <clears throat> done for today and there's still a lot to be done but just to show you what we've got uh, what we've got so far so I think it looks better it's coming along 
think it's a big difference from where we started. And there's still spots like over here. It looks like there's, I don't know if they tried to start wet sanding that or oversprayed paint or what they did, but there were a couple spots around like that. Some scratches on the roof, I think. Somebody was wet sanding up there and they just gave up. But a lot of the car looks a lot better than what we started with. I still gotta put the hood on so we could do the hood. Hoods at the shop, I just felt like driving around without the hood for a little while. For a couple days, but we'll get the hood on. Here's another spot here where, you see it just looks hazy. That I feel like it's paint. But overall we're getting there. Uh, again, any suggestions you guys have, let me know in the comments. And check you out in the next one. Peace.